We're gonna talk about Suicide Squad, the Suicide Squad, excuse me. This is James, Gun James Gunn's Suicide Squad. So, um, this one was just a sneak peek. It wasn't actually a trailer or anything like that. Sorry for all the flashes, it's just the way that the trailer is. But this movie looks both interesting and I'm not excited about it at all because the first Suicide Squad left such a bad taste in my mouth. I don't want to see it. But it's James Gunn who's done several superhero franchises, including Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, he was, I think, a producer or co-writer on Brightburn, which I have a cinematic link for that, which you should go check out. Um, so the guy knows a lot of good stuff um, in terms of movies. Uh, da -da -da -da, trying to find my notes. Sorry, one second. Uh, it's also a lot of characters we haven't seen before or haven't seen on the big screen before. Uh, there's like Polka Dot Man, Weasel, um, Harley Quinn we've seen before. Uh, I forgot Idris Elba's character. He's kind of like Deadshot, but he's not Deadshot. I uh, don't remember the name of it. Doesn't matter. We'll find out later. There's a bunch of other stuff on it already. I've had a full 24 hours to work on this, but this is what I got. So uh, it looks super interesting. A lot of different characters we haven't seen before. I'm excited for certain characters coming back, like Harley Quinn, like Boomerang, who kind of got shafted in the first one. Um, and King Shark I'm really excited about. But there's gonna be some more Suicide Squad stuff in just a few minutes, um, if you guys stick around for that. About a video game, which kind of relates similarly to what I'm gonna be talking about. But it's just a lot of characters we haven't seen before, so James Gunn is really good at taking those ragtag groups and putting them together, and I kind of just trust him with it. My only thing that it has me kind of worried I can't figure out is it looks kind of like it's set in Vietnam or something like that, or like a war-ish movie. I don't know what war they're fighting, um, but it looks still kind of interesting with the explosions and stuff like that. Um, that's the end of the video. Just take that off for now. Um, but yeah, it looks like it's just got a lot of weird characters, like John Cena's like some like comedian type of character, I think, where he just like wants to kill everybody no matter what and just exact his justice, kind of like a Black Adam, which is teasing coming up. Um, I don't really, Michael Rooker's character, I don't really know what he does. A lot of these people, I don't really know what their character is. Although I'm surprised that like Joel Kinnaman came back for Rick Flagg, because I think that he was one of the ones that got the most pandered or like nobody liked it from the first one. The fact that he came back, I gotta give it to the guy. Um, at least he came back for the role. But um, for the most part, I'm not really sure how it's gonna come across, but it still looks kind of fun to some aspect. James Gunn is the only thing that's really holding it all together for me. Um, let's see, let's go to the comments really quick. Listening and getting some food, always a good idea. Uh, I thought John Cena was the guy from Apocalypse. Guy from Apocalypse. Well, not there, but the planet across from it. I don't know. He looks like he just sort of some human guy with a chrome helmet to me. I don't really know what his character's name was. One of them's called Peacemaker. I don't know which one that is, but... Uh, uh, the guy who rides the machines with guns. I don't recall his name. One of them's Peacemaker if that helps you. Uh, but it, am, I, am I interested? Sure. Do I want to see it in theaters? Not really because of the bad taste the first Suicide Squad left with me. But I know that kind of wasn't just the director's fault. There was a lot of other factors. But as I keep saying, that particular Suicide Squad movie, although I don't like it, for some reason I keep coming back to it. I don't know if it's to hate on it. I don't know if it's just because it's just so bad I can't not watch it. But for some reason I watch it at least every couple months to a year um i always come back to it i don't know why so yeah don't forget to subscribe uh, i would greatly appreciate that uh, thank you guys so much if you're here with me live i do appreciate the support uh if you guys ever want to suggest anything for me to talk about in terms of on live on cinematic late whatever the case may be if you're like i love this movie so much i wish someone would give a little bit more light i guess or whatever the case may be hit me up uh, whether it be on my channel or any of my social medias. Uh, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all with the same handles, Aaron Waller White T. I would love to connect with you there if you were not able to already. Um, other than that, that's all I have for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope to see you guys either in the next live, Cinematic Elite, or my next video in general. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.